Hi guys, um, this video is going to give you a walkthrough of how to write the methodology for your secondary source higher geography assignment. So, first of all, what are the most basic principles that we need to get right here? Well, uh, the assignment is worth six marks, uh, so we need to be finding at least six correct statements to make. You need to refer to two different techniques. That's important that you you remember that. If you write about three different techniques, you've wasted your time. You'll only get credit for two, so only write about two. Let's look at technique one. Now, in this assignment, because you have not gone into the field and done your own primary first-hand research, you have used secondary sources. This means that you have read and researched online or in books. So this is how to write a secondary source methodology. Technique one. Name the source that you've used. I've put this in red on the screen because this will vary from pupil to pupil. Um, so please check that for yourself, either by asking your teacher or looking back through your notes. But you should inform the examiner of what source it is that you used. Next, you want to point out some of the positive things about that source. Well, it was a book and therefore it had lots of relevant information to you. Um, and that's good. The book is a book is targeted and can give you lots of relevant information. You could use an index in a book to target your research to specific pages. And that's easier and less time consuming than trawling through lots of websites. Next, point out negatives, weaknesses in using a book. Whilst the information in a book is clearly laid out and easy to understand, um, it is only just one source of information. So you need to use other sources to develop a wide and full understanding. Nobody could claim to be an expert in something by reading one book, and that's a weakness of using just the, 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 only, the, the textbook that you've used. The publishing date of the book is uh, clearly going to be in the past. It can't be in the future. Um, and therefore, uh, books are only as up to date as their publishing date. And therefore, some of the facts that you have researched may be out of date, and that is a weakness. And then finally, we look at improvements. You could have increased the range of books that you read to provide a more balanced set of opinions. And it is this bit on the balanced set of opinions that the importance of the sentence is found. You could also have written to or spoken with professionals in the field for a first hand source of information. And that would have been an improvement over using a book. Because, of course, a book is a second hand source of information. Okay, let's look at technique two. Technique two was using the internet to research um, population. And again, you start off with exactly the same structure as before. What was the source that you used? Please quote the website that you have used or websites, plural. Um, I used the CI World Factbook, but you will have used something different. Please quote that website. You're going to go through the same structure, positives, negatives, and improvements. Where Who has written your website is important. Hopefully, you have chosen a website that's written by a reliable organization. For example, the Central Intelligence Agency is a government organization and um, therefore can be um, trusted. Um, have you looked at a government website? Is it a major media website and by major media i mean like the bbc um have you looked at um a important charities website um or perhaps a non a non-governmental organization like the united nations um regardless of what your website is hopefully you've found a robust one 
and therefore a positive you can report on is that it's a reliable source because it is written by a, a government sponsored um a, te- a government sponsored team of people have written it and therefore it can be judged as more trustworthy uh, the website that you've used will have lots of development indicators and population figures a whole huge breadth of information and the advantage of this is that it made it easy to compare the level of development between the two countries um, you'll notice in my first paragraph i talked about how the book was targeted and it had very specific information that was useful to your study here i'm saying the website has a great breadth of information and this has made comparison between countries much easier so those are but by saying it in that way i'm not repeating myself okay let's move on um the website was easily accessed and crucially as up-to-date information Negatives. Not all countries report their census data reliably. So, some of them are, are, are very unreliable in the way they report their census data. Some of them um, can make information up or exaggerate some of their statistical data. And therefore, not all countries are equally reliable. So regardless of which website you've taken your birth rate information from, that website, the CIA's fact book, or whatever website it is you're using, they have had to take that information from somewhere, presumably the government of the country in question. And if that government is not honestly or is inaccurately reporting its data, then that leads to some of your comparisons being less trustworthy. So one of the negatives is that not all the census data is equally reliable. Sometimes websites are so huge that it actually, it becomes bamboozling and you, you've got so much information, it becomes hard to use. Some improvements could be to have compared statistics between different websites. And then you could have looked for inconsistencies in the data sets is the birth rate reported for the United Kingdom the same on the CIA World Factbook as it is in the um, Westminster government website? I could have compared government and non-government based sources. Obviously, governments have a natural bias. They, 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 they want to uh, report the best view of their country and that can have an influence. Um, but indeed, very recently, some countries have been um, accused of misreporting uh, levels of disease. Um, so when you're researching online, making sure that you have a balance between a government-based website and a non-government source of information means that maybe you're able to see past that natural bias and get a more balanced view. Okay, uh, that is the end of the method methodological section of the assignment. What you need to do is to listen to this very carefully. You need to make sure that you use the structure that I've shown you to write in your own words your methodology, taking into account the sources that you use, the websites that you looked at, the textbooks that you looked at. Um, this structure is certainly one that you can use directly, but um, it is important that you are writing your own methodology, you're phrasing it in your own uh, words. Um, okay, if you have any questions, come find me.